So we decided that our neighbors are suspicious and that we're gonna break into their house and find out what's going on. What could go wrong? Hello everyone, this is Rin from Super Cat Lunch, and I love this style. <laughs> it's the PS- Ooh. It's with the sound getting all weird. This isn't that PS1 style that I love so much that I will never shut up about. <laughs> I see we're already starting off with a death? Hi? Well, apparently, um, we're sneaking into their house, like I said, because they have a terrible secret. Um, and I think that might be the truth, judging, um, from what we're seeing here? But, uh, I don't know. Can I just, you know, do what some sensible person would do and call the police? Alright, so I assume we're gonna want to get past Mr. McStabby here. What are you? You're really fast, too. Do I just try and run past you? Oh. I guess it was just supposed to be a jump scare or something. <laughs> I am incredibly scared. Okay, let's sneak around back, maybe. And see what's going on back here. Okay, I see lots of broken bottles. Lots of stuff. Can I access the pool? The pool is not filled up. Okay. Oh! So I, I can't take a picture, I guess, until I'm inside? Oh, there we go, okay. So I guess we're taking pictures for evidence? Oh, hi, Artemis! You're not supposed to be there. You know that, right? You're gonna knock all that stuff over. Um, so if you could get down from there, that would be fantastic. It seems like that the static in the background gets higher over time. And that was right before that angry demon was summoned. I wonder if they're gonna summon another one. And I've been squandering precious time. <laughs> so, was there really nothing in the backyard that they wanted me to take a picture of? Like, all these... Well, I mean, I guess this isn't, like... What is that? It's just kind of an alien fin sticking out of the house. I guess this isn't indicative of, like... Weirdness. I guess they're just- they're just messy. Right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can take a picture of. Oh. Another demon! Hi! Ah! <laughs> that was my frightened noise. Did you like it? Oh. A very loud clock. Alright, should we touch the pentagram? No. Okay. So we gotta take five more pictures. There's that up in the top right about taking pictures of evidence. I don't know why you wouldn't just call the cops if you saw weird otherworldly bloody beings stepping out of your neighbor's house. And if you happen to go around back to do your own welfare check, you saw a giant pentagram and their house in an absolute disaster. Who would not call the cops, right? No, I'll just investigate by myself. <laughs> That is one heck of a cobweb. One heck of a cobweb there. Alright, I'm back in the kitchen here. There's the basement. I'm sure we'll find plenty of evidence in the basement. Let me finish exploring the first floor, though. You don't have any blankets on your mattress or even any sheets. What kind of mattress do you like? I think- I feel like I- I mentioned the mattresses sometime recently. What is up with this? Eh. <laughs> you have this shower curtain, you have that shower curtain, and you have a middle shower curtain. Sometimes the shower curtain needs a shower too, that's an interesting toilet. I think I mentioned it sometime recently, but... Was it in Pole? I don't remember. Bloodstain! Oh, am I gonna get attacked again? No! Don't do it! <laughs> is that... Is there something... No, it doesn't seem like there's any repercussions. Okay. I mean, I guess... It, they're they're kind of too fast to escape anyway, so I think they're just kind of meant to scare you. Alright, so here's another blood stain. Ketchup stain, I'm sure. That's fine. 
Okay, did I explore everything? And that's the bathroom. This is the flower room. I got already the picture over there. I keep getting distracted from my topic, but I tend to like... Firmer- yeah, I did mention this, didn't I? I tend to like firmer mattresses because they're better for your back. But Tempur-Pedic are nice too. Though I haven't had too much experience with them. That's also a heck of a cobweb. Oh, I thought that was a note or something, but no, it is just the top of a dryer? Dryer, yes. I am can speak well do. Mm. So maybe the other two evidences are upstairs? I thought this was like a diagram of like showing people over here, but no, it's just a regular tool table, I think. Suspicious. <gasps> no! It's coming back! I am dying. You know, all this bluster about not being scared of horror games, nothing scares me anymore. I'm gonna be an absolute baby mess when it comes to the <laughs> when it comes to the subnautical week soon. Alright, that looks like a note. Documents take a picture, okay. So we don't actually read them, we just take a picture. I want to read what it says, though. This is an interesting room. I like attic rooms where... Oh, that's normal. Oh. Maybe if we hide in the corner, it won't see us. If I close my eyes, it can't see me, right? Yeah, see, it went away. Alright, let's... I don't want to take the last picture yet. I, I want to explore first, just in case it ends the game. I, I just kind of want to see the rest of the house. I hear a kitty meowing. Okay. Is this another the triple curtain? The triple curtain. <laughs> yeah, I hear a Loki meowing, but I like attic rooms that are like that, that have the the signature triangle roof. I already explored over here. Okay, so I am done. Those tend to be so cozy. Was it in here? I think it was in here, right? Yeah. E yes, I would like to take a picture, please. There we go. Is it actually going to... Are they just going to continuously run at us though? Oh! I'm going to assume I want to be more strategic about this since the last one appears to to end you. So let's let's try that again, but a little more strategic. I will get let's see, maybe I'll get the one out. Was there one outside? I don't think there was one outside. There's the pentagram downstairs. That one might be the- I wonder if that is a culmination of the ghosts that actually hit you, or if it's just that last one that ends you. I don't know. Um... Okay, so this is not a good room because this has no exits. So... We need to consider that. This is not a good room because this is at the end. Right here. I think the best one to end on is gonna be the pentagram. Yeah, okay. Because we can get the pentagram, we can get it from this far away and then just book it. Right outside, and then take a right and then we're gone. I could try to also just go this way, straight out the front door, but I don't think that's a good idea. I, I don't think it's a good idea, so... Alright, let's get this one first. Yes. Alright. I think it's actually outside. Alright, we just have to leave the alert. And then I don't think it can get us. Oh, we did it! Nice! It, and it just ends. Alright, well, we're just going to assume that we called the cops, we sent them the evidence that they honestly did not need. Because just strolling around the house, even without a warrant, would tell you that, uh, we might want to get a warrant. Because, it, 
things are going on here. <laughs> but that was fun. I, I enjoyed the, the added layer of the last ghost actually ending you. And of course, I always love that PS1 style. I had to say it one more time. <laughs> but I hope I made you smile today. And I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye!